All right, here we are at Weenie Fest. I signed up for this meet. I did not know if there was gonna be any Hondas out here, and boy, was there a lot of Hondas. I probably only got an eighth of the cars out there. I cannot get them all. Forewarning, if you're new to the channel, I show Hondas 99% of the time. This was a super clean FK8. Love the roll cage. He tracks this car, got the gloves in the passenger seat. Talked to him a little bit online, and he's definitely won some awards before. This car is super clean. super nice aero bits got the doghouse garage car out here and he just ran this thing at willow springs and then still brought it out to this meet gutted on the inside but super clean awesome paint always nice seeing this car so i've never been on a track before only autocross so i'm definitely going to be signing up for the next doghouse event if you live in socal i would definitely suggest checking out some of the stuff they do it's really awesome and i know he's got a new garage he's going to be revealing soon i'm going to link his instagram down in the description really like the color on this integra the gray looks super nice got some spoon calipers super clean engine bay some carbon fiber bits itr conversion really clean interior roll cage looks super clean this car had a really cool theme to it check out the gray willwoods the theme continues in the engine bay Gray intake, gray intake manifolds, but obviously that valve cover steals the show. That thing is really pretty. Got a gray strut bar. Interior looks awesome, but look at the center exit exhaust. Don't see that too often, it looks really cool. Really clean hatch. Well, how did BMW get in here? Just kidding, I thought this car was really awesome. It's an M3, really like the BBS wheels on it. Haven't heard of that brand of seats before, but they look really clean in there. Studio AG, haven't heard of that either, but it looks really nice. Got some carbon fiber on the engine bay and on the aero. Got a matching turbo and valve cover right here, K-swapped. Really cool car, I love sedans. So seeing one swapped like this is pretty cool. Got some aero bits on the front, stop tech brakes on some hoosers. Really clean interior. Nice Mugen wing on the back. Got some diffuser action. Clean S2000, looks like the stick I used to hold up my trunk. I like the wheels on this. What were they called? Seekers? Those are cool. Look good on there. Huge wing. Clean interior. Got the toy display. K-swapped coupe. I was obsessed with this coupe. This belongs to Omar. I was talking to him for a little bit. He's with the Shed Belt crew. I'm going to link their YouTube channel down in the description. They have a channel. Uh, was talking to him about this car. I obviously I'm biased because I have a red coupe, but this is an EJ1 Really clean interior has some Recaros in there. I don't show it. I messed up, but he has a six piston Willwood brake setup on the front with 16 inch wheels looks really nice Got a good looking Integra. I like the wheels on this one And no one does orange valve covers. So oh, that looked really nice. I have show more right here. Jackson Supercharger, always cool seeing those. Yeah, I really like the wheels. Dev Sport Aero on there. This was an import right hand drive with only 30 something uh, thousand kilometers. I don't know what that converts to, like 100 miles or something like that. Really clean interior. Got kissed a little bit on the trunk, but who cares? It's a really original car. The thing looks super clean. Had to cook some hot dogs because it's Weenie Fest. Got the Wiener Schnitzel guy walking around. And we're back at Shed Built. Omar built this one for his wife, bought it from the original owner. He said it's super clean underneath. 
it doesn't leak a drop of oil. I like the display on the back. Has the original D15 V7 in there, but who cares? This thing is awesome. Hard to tear apart a good running car sometimes. Got the blue wheel woods. And this Integra was just ultra clean. Look at that engine bay. With like some tuck brake lines. JDM front end. Just a really clean build. Like the work wheels on it. Immaculate interior. This Domani was so clean. The owner was educating me on what a Domani is. I guess it is a classier Civic, basically. I like the lights on the front. He said he converted all of it, and look how clean that engine bay is. Super shiny valve cover, matching paint to the outside, and he tracks this car. Says he runs it at Thunder Hill quite a bit. I was kind of blown away because this is a really clean car to be taking to the track. I don't know if he won any awards, but man, this car was so clean. And it still has the back seats, even though he's got the full roll cage in it. Super clean interior, matching Recaro's with the tan interior. Those seats look really nice. Got the Thunder Hill tag. This car gets my That's a Nice One award. I just made that up. It doesn't come with a trophy, but you can screenshot it and print it. So just in case you forget, that's a nice one. Really clean hatch. Got some endless brake calipers. Those look really cool. Good looking Mugen wheels on there. Just look at the fitment on all these cars. I mean, my back bumper doesn't fit that well. Like, that is a really nice car. This car, I missed this one at the Honda Super Meet. Again, I just can't get all of these cars in one session. I like to spend a lot of time shooting them, and you tend to miss some, and I'm glad that I was able to shoot this one this time. Really clean car. He is sponsored by Hybrid Motorsports, and this thing won awards two weekends in a row. Ultra clean build. Awesome fitment. Really like the livery. Got some vents, and if you notice, it is a 1999 that you can see from the dash, but that is a 96 to 98 front end conversion. Really cool. This car was super clean. Love the, I think it's like a purple. I couldn't tell what it was even when I was standing in front of it, but super cool. Nice shiny roll cage. Even the top looks super clean, painted nice. Carbon fiber rear view mirrors. Volk wheels. Tucked brake lines on this engine bay. Really like the color. Yeah, that is an awesome looking hatch. Huge wing on the back. Really like those wheels. Porsche calipers. Skunk 2 intake manifolds. Cool white roll cage. Just one seat in that one. Jay's racing wing. Fitment is amazing. Nice looking EF hatch. Also has some Porsche calipers. Look how clean it is underneath. Right above the exhaust. I mean the thing's just polished all the way around. You can get up close to this car and can't find a flaw. Nice clean interior. I think that's a, is that a H22 engine swap? Looks really good in there. Really just pretty car. And we got a turbo B series in this Integra. I really like the color on it. Like a baby blue. Some Willwoods with the Rays wheels. Recaro seats. And a Speed Factory muffler. 
I didn't show an NSX at the last meet, so here it is, and this is a good one. This thing looks super clean, carbon fiber spoiler, spoon calipers, Evo wheels, super pretty, can't find a dent on the car. I mean, the thing's gorgeous. Look at the, I guess it's not a diffuser, but rear ground effects, really cool. Lots of carbon fiber, really pretty NSX. I know you can rent like Lamborghinis and Ferraris in Las Vegas. Honestly, if it was an option, I would totally pick an NSX. Got a spoon themed B series in this EK. Like the front lip on it with the blue wheels, man, that looks really good. Volt T37s with Boone calipers. Group M intake looks really good on there. Motul tag. Look at the bride interior, really clean. I don't know if that was a bride backpack, that's awesome. This car looked immaculate. Again, all the body parts just fit perfectly. Super clean underneath. Got some more spoon goodies on this one as well. Sparkly paint. Looks really nice, matching calipers. Really clean paint. Buddy club seats. That car look nice. This is Smurf EG77's car. Really like the color on it, looks super awesome. He said it is a Laguna Seca Blue, a BMW M3 color. Car looks beautiful. He actually tracks it. And he said that he wasn't going for any specific theme, it is just all for function. And just a super clean build. Really pretty car. I really like the aluminum door panels, but it still has the speakers. Functional race car, that's what it's all about. Everything in this car is just immaculate. The Gato intake manifold, is that how you say that? Everything in there just super clean. And don't forget the blue matching Willwoods. Got a Mugen theme going on there on the engine bay. Really like these wheels, these are just classic. Super clean underneath. Like the front lip, this car was really clean. A D-Series build, it was a Z6. The owner did say that he was going to swap it, but I actually think the D-Series looked really nice in it. Did a good job with it. This car looks really cool. It is a Civic Si. I just love the 90s font for Civic, the cursive. Looks so cool to me. The car was extremely low. Looks really good. Evo wheels with some spoon calipers. Got another spoon themed engine bay on this hatch. Good looking blue T37s with the matching blue spoon calipers and then some yellow Recaros to complete the theme. Really cool hatch. Look at the wrinkle paint on that, for some reason, that just looks done professional to me. It was like almost sparkly, and he's got a painted brake booster, which you don't really see too often. I believe that's a Mode Parfum front bumper, and the green wheels look kind of wild, but I actually liked them. Super cool. ICB seats, I like the color of those, they look good in there. 
So the meet was ending and this was the next row I was going to shoot. And I'm just trying to hurry up and shoot as many cars as I can at this point because people started leaving. And this is Royer's car. I really like the seats he has in this one too. He also won again. Won last week at the Super Meet. And it's kind of no surprise, I mean, the engine bay is immaculate, but he also has that Vortex Supercharger that's super cool. I believe he won best 90s build. Such a pretty car. And then everyone lined up at the end, or at least a lot of cars lined up, and there were just so many clean builds out here. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Weenie Fest definitely did not disappoint. I just bought the tickets, not knowing necessarily what to expect. I found out later that VTEC tuning was gonna be happening on the same day, and there was so many cool cars. So definitely check out the coverage from that meet. Sudden Movements and K24 Hobby both got coverage. I'll be linking those down in the description. Well, thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day.